There are two main ways to stay safe from rip currents in high surf. Number one is knowing how to break the grip of the rip. And number two is knowing how to determine your impact. So how do we identify when the water is dangerous? Let's raise your weather IQ. If you're down by the ocean without technology and didn't check the forecast before you left, look at the beach flags. Eric Hayden, the warning coordination meteorologist for the National Weather Service in Moorhead City, says the NWS produces the initial forecast, then they rely on local officials to keep them updated on any adjustments. If conditions change, they will fly a different flag but just as importantly, they will call us and we'll change our forecast. Hayden says within the last two years, beaches across the country have finally consolidated beach warning flags to follow the United States Life Saving Association or USLA standards, meaning you should see the same colored flags wherever you go. There's always at least a medium risk in the ocean. We love it, but you gotta respect the ocean. It's not a pool. It's not something that a lot of folks may be used to. A yellow flag represents a medium hazard like moderate surf and rip currents. When flags are upgraded to red, you are not advised to go into the water due to high surf and strong currents. Double red flags are issued when water is closed to the public. In these cases, you can be fined or even arrested for breaking this rule. There is also a purple flag designation for dangerous marine life like man of war jellyfish, stingrays, or even dangerous fish. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.